It's been grim today enough as it is, oh, isn't it? Gosh, it has Can't get any worse, can it? Probably. Now, 145 people who showed bravery and commitment in the way they stood up to the rioters in August will be honoured at a ceremony tonight. Police officers, emergency staff and members of the public are to each be presented with a special award by the West Midlands Force. Well, Bob Hockenhill is at the University of Birmingham where the awards ceremony is taking place tonight. So, Bob, tell us more. Yes, welcome to the Great Hall at the University of Birmingham, Suzanne. And as you say, 145 people from all sorts of backgrounds will be honoured here tonight. Not just police officers and civilians who bore the full brunt of facing the rioters, but ordinary people who did simple acts such as keeping officers who were dealing with the disturbances fed and watered, right through to people who organised the clean-up of the streets in the aftermath. This sweet store in Birmingham city centre was one of the first to be attacked during the August riots. Manager Steve Ebanks was still inside as would-be looters tried to smash their way in. Four months on and tonight he's being honoured for doing all he could to protect the shop in the face of the mob. It's a bit of a surprise because I didn't feel that I'd done anything really brave. If it's there I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Um, and it's, it'd be nice to have um, go and meet other people that were involved in the riot and speak with them and get their views on what happened. Police officers and other emergency services faced an unprecedented onslaught of violence. WPC Donna Page was among officers who were confronted by around 60 rioters on this road. They were called to help protect people at this Hindu centre in Oldbury. I just saw a big lump of concrete coming straight for me. My initial thought was it was going to hit my legs and I would be taken to the floor, so I sidestepped it and fortunately it bounced off the kerb and hit me in my right side. It was obviously extremely painful, but I still had to protect myself and my colleagues from the ongoing threat at the time. Despite suffering a fractured rib, WPC Page was back on duty in less than two hours after hospital treatment. Tonight she'll get an award for her dedication. I'm honoured, really, because, as probably many officers will say, I was just doing my job and, that, and that's what I felt. It was my job, it was my duty. The August riots brought out the worst in humanity, but tonight's award ceremony shows they also brought out the best. Well, with me now is the Chief Constable, Chris Sims, who will be presenting the awards tonight. Uh, how were they actually decided upon? Who actually nominated these people? Well, we've got a mixture of awards. We've got uh, police colleagues who are being awarded for their contribution. We've also got members of the public, and we've had a fantastic response. Um, nominations from all sorts of quarters, and we've tried to take a view about the, the different contributions that people have made and come up with, I think, um, a list of 145 awards that we're making tonight. Of course, you didn't have to hold this. You're not legally obliged or anything, so why did you decide to do it? Well, I think this was a really big event for West Midlands Police. I think it was a big event for the West Midlands. And um, we've got a delicate balance tonight. We, we want to honour the great things that were done. We also want to make sure that the tragic context that they happened in is also remembered. I know it's difficult to single anything out, but are there any particular people who will be um, nominated tonight who stick out in your mind? Well, I think from a policing side, um, obviously the officers who came under fire, uh, I think, deserve a particular mention. And from the community side, of course, the parents of the three young men who died and, and who really became a symbol of hope for the country um, are here tonight and will be honoured by us. And in a nutshell, what do you hope will be achieved by the end of tonight? Well, I, I, you know, I hope um, that we can put the whole events of August into a context that we can recognise the good that came out of them um, and work together to make sure they don't happen again. Chief Constable Chris Sims, thank you very much for thank speaking you. to us. Uh, there'll also be music tonight and hopefully a chance to show the good spirit of the West Midlands. Well, thanks very much. You can hear the music in the background. Yeah, it's absolutely. Special yeah, night there, isn't it? Yeah, I hope we just make a feeling of community that much stronger yeah, after absolutely. what everyone went through. Absolutely. Well, let's move on to sports.